What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim, back with another card of the day. It's been a while, but I'm on vacation right now. So I got a bunch of things that I want to talk about for next format. Going to be rolling these out kind of periodically while I'm on vacation. And I wanted to talk about cards from Celestial Storm. Been getting a lot of requests to talk about rotation, talk about the new EXs and GXs. And I wanted to focus on Nationals leading up to nets that's kind of like the big thing here tricky jim is a competitive pokemon channel though i do want to get talking about the competitive side of next format but i do want to prepare everybody for what's going to be the largest tournament of the year which is at this time not happened yet but has already happened since i'm on vacation right now so stack attacka gx awesome new ultra beast pokemon from our upcoming set Celestial Storm is confirmed for Celestial Storm. It's got an ability, 180 hit points, uh, and two attacks. This is a pretty sweet card. I think Stack Attack is just a cool Ultra Beast, nonetheless. I mean, metal type guy. He's like made of bricks. He's like this brick wall thing. I think Stack Attack is a sweet dude. And uh, it's got some interesting qualities. So let's take a look at Stack Attack GX. Its ability, Ultra Wall, says your Ultra Beast take 10 less damage from your opponent's attacks after applying weakness and resistance. So the cool thing about this ability is that it stacks, right? If you have four Stack Attack in play, your Ultra Beast Pokemon take 40 less damage from your opponent's Pokemon. And if you have one, I mean, it effectively you know decreases damage done by 10 so 2 20 and so on and so forth i think this is a cool ability and uh you know gives your pokemon more hit points in a format where fighting fury belt is going to be rotated if we're talking about post rotation fighting fury belt's going to be gone so giving your uh giving your basic pokemon gx or ex or just your basic pokemon in general more hit points is going to be a little more difficult than it was previously now stack attack up being a metal pokemon does have access to cards like metal frying pan which decreases damage done to it by 30 and also gets rid of his fire weakness though a fire weakness is actually kind of a fine weakness to have right now even with the next set coming out we've got like blaziken gx but not a ton a ton of fire support so i think I feel like, especially with Volcanion rotating out next year, Fire is actually a pretty good type for a wall kind of Pokemon to be weak to. Uh, speaking of weaknesses, we've also got a resistance to metal, uh, which is... Or, Speaking of weaknesses, we've also got a resistance to Psychic, which is a great resistance to have right now, especially with the popularity of Malamar and Psychic types decks, making it very difficult for a Psychic type Pokemon to take a one-hit KO on Stack Attack. Now, unfortunately, there are just some cards that are going to be one-shotting this thing pretty easily. You still got your Ultra Necrozma in format, and that is just going to be tough. Ultra Necrozma being able to do unlimited damage. I mean, just even with three uh, basic uh, psychic energies attached to it and a metal is going to be one-shotting this thing, uh, irregardless of how many stack attack you have in play. So that is kind of tough, but I do think that potentially stack attack does have some potential. It does have an attack. Gigaston, uh, Gigaton Stomp does 120 damage for two metal and a colorless and that's it. There's no kind of flair about it. Just 120 damage for three energy. That's not great damage output, to be honest. 120 is just not a lot. You're two-shotting most things, though. I'll give it that. You're going to two-shot things like Zorark. You do get a nice one-hit KO on Gardevoir, if Gardevoir becomes popular. So it's not like the worst. You're two-shotting things like Buzzwool, you're not really ever going to get that one hit KO with Stack Attack, though there are metal Pokemon that do take one hit KOs. I mean, we do have our Dusk Main Necrozma can easily take one hit KOs. Uh, we also have that Cabalion, right? Cabalion with that Revenge Attack can also take one hit KO. So there are metal type Pokemon uh, that do take one hit KOs. Also, Metagross, right? Metagross and Sogalio can both take one hit KOs as well. Stack Attack. That's not what Stack Attack is here for. More of a supporting role, in my opinion. We also have Assembly GX for two medals and a colorless. This attack does 50 more damage for each prize card you have taken. Not a great GX attack, though it can clean up a game if you've taken four prizes. You can clean up, do 200 damage, and knock out most threats. With that, with the choice band, 230. It's like some okay math, but honestly, not the best GX attack either. In my opinion, Stack Attack at GX is not really going to be utilized as a primary attacker in a deck i'm just going to call that now i don't think it is your primary attacker for whatever a deck that stack attacker is being played in though you do have access to beast ring 
on your stack attack because yes you could charge him up but why would you charge him up there are other ultra beasts that just do way more damage notably buzzwool right buzzwool's knuckle impact is a way better target for the beast ring than stack attack and i don't think that stack attack really can make a case for being charged up with beast ring and going in as your main attacker when you're never going to be taking a one hit ko and most I mean, you do have like Buzzwell who can take Buzz, uh, one hit KO. So why would you use Stack Attacka? I think Stack Attacka's potential lies in its ability to be a wall, right? Its ability to uh, just decrease damage done to it, right? So I think that if Stack Attacka GX is going to be a deck or anything like that, it's probably going to be a mill deck, right? You got like four Stack Attackas. You're, you know, giving yourself effectively 220 hit points, maybe metal frying pans, things like that. Maybe you're playing hoop to help wall yourself off against decks that play uh, that play only EXs and GXs. Maybe also you're playing Zerkatry GX, which is another cool thing. You can give your Zerkatry GX effectively more hit points as well. Zerkatry GX has got another ability where it can't be damaged by Pokemon with special energy attached to them. So you do have these kind of cute little combinations that you can use for your stack attacker. Maybe it ends up being kind of like the Whale Lord kind of type Pokemon of this format but we do have sylveon sylveon is another mill deck in this format which stays legal next format and sylveon has an attack that allows it to go search three cards out of your deck so not sure that stack attacka will be able to hold a candle to the best mill deck in format right now which definitely is sylveon though next format i think malamar gets a huge boost and also Gardevoir gets a huge boost with Buzzwall decks slowing down. So with Guardi and uh, Malamar both being big, I'm not sure that mill decks are going to be able to keep up as much, especially since Guardi can shuffle 10 things back into its deck. Malamar can constantly recycle its energy. Going to be a very tough spot for mill decks, but always something to keep in the back of your mind in case there happens to be kind of a hole in the metagame that opens up for a mill deck. Stack Attacka will be there. Stack Attacka, I also like just maybe as a one of in some decks sometimes a deck's damage cap can be very very rigid right like so in a buzzwall deck next format right we have only diancy choice band and beast energy to increase our buzzwall's damage output that means that buzzwall can hit 190 uh with a choice band it means it can hit uh you know with a diancy that's 210 so unless they find their beast energy uh they're stuck at like a hard 210 right so you could use your stack attackers to help like decrease maybe a dex damage ceiling by just 10 if that number happened to matter if like you know you you have 200 hit points or if your ultra beast has 190 hit points and the deck that you're worried about does 190 damage exactly then stack attack can help kind of throw that math off i kind of like it as a one of card or a two of card to help throw some decks math off if the math happens to be just right for instance i mean this isn't a deck you could use it in but vika bulu right uh vika volt tapu bulu does a perfect 210 damage right so uh there might be a situation that arises if a deck comes out that does like 210 damage exactly right uh and you want to protect your 210 hit point pokemon maybe you play one stack attacker so that a pokemon like vika bulu can't do that 210 exactly now that situation i don't think really exists in our format right now but i'm just saying i can imagine Imagine a space where that eventually becomes the case. Maybe you play a one of Stack Attack just to throw some math off. So that's it for the card of the day. Stack Attack GX, a cool dude. Nonetheless, I think the artwork is just awesome. What's not to like about a brick house looking Pokemon Cyclops looking crazy Ultra Beast thing? Anyways, let me know. What do you guys think of Stack Attack GX in the comments below? Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Peace.